If a company's capital structure contains marketable bonds, then you should calculate the cost of debt for these instruments using the yield to maturity or YTM approach, which we discuss in this video. In order to apply this method, you need to properly understand the basic features of bonds. To illustrate, consider a company which issues 10,000 Rand face value bonds with a coupon rate of 8%, payable annually and maturing in 5 years. The market value of each bond on issue date is 10,202 Rand. This means that the investor pays the company 10,202 Rand today for each bond. This is effectively a loan to the company by the investor. In return, the company promises to pay the investor five annual interest payments of 800 Rand each. These are called coupons. The amount of each coupon is calculated as the coupon rate of 8% times the face value of 10,000 Rand. We take careful note that this is an annual pay bond, which means that each coupon is paid once a year. There are five years to maturity, so there are five separate coupon payments by the company to the investor. The company also promises to pay the investor the face value of the bond, which is 10,000 Rand, as a single lump sum at the end of the five-year period. This represents the return of the loan principal. The bond's yield to maturity is the investor's annual rate of return on this investment. This is exactly the same as the company's cost of debt. Until you become completely fluent in working with bonds, a visual and methodical approach is slow at first but really helpful for avoiding unnecessary mistakes. Step one is to set up the bonds timeline. To get this right, it is absolutely vital that you pay close attention to the coupon frequency. If the bond is annual pay, then the annual coupon is paid to the investor in a single amount each year. If the bond is semi-annual pay, which is very common in the fixed income market, then the annual coupon is divided into two equal amounts and those are paid over to the investor every six months. The notches on your timeline must correspond with the coupon frequency. It is only if the bond is annual pay that the notches will be the same as the year count. In contrast, a semi-annual pay bond has two notches per year. A quarterly pay bond has four notches per year, a monthly pay one has 12, and so on. The last notch on the timeline is at maturity date. This must be consistent with the coupon frequency. It will be a year count only for annual pay bonds. For all other bonds, the maturity date notch will be a different number counted in terms of periods, not years. Having set up your timeline with the notches space correctly and the total number of periods correctly identified, the next step is to enter the bond's market value as of today identified as T0. This number is entered as a negative. You can think of it as a payment by the investor. Following this, the timeline is populated with the periodic coupons and the maturity value all as positive cash flows. Think of them as being receipts for the investor. Next, these data points are entered into a financial calculator. Although spreadsheet solutions, apps and websites are also widely available, I assume that you will be doing these calculations in exam conditions. The last step is to annualize the result of your calculation. If the bond is semi-annual pay, you double your calculator result to obtain the annual cost of debt. If it is quarterly pay, multiply the result by 4. 
it is only for an annual pay bond that no further adjustment is needed. Let's apply these steps to the earlier bond example. Here we are asked to calculate the cost of debt for a company with 10,000 Rand annual pay 8% coupon rate bonds, which are five years from maturity. The market value today is 10,202 Rand. We start with the timeline, which has annual notches because the coupons are paid annually. Therefore, we count years, starting at zero, which is today, and ending at five, which is maturity date. Then we fill in the bond's market value today as negative 10,202. Next, we calculate the annual coupon amount as 8% times 10,000 Rand, which is 800 Rand, and enter this against each of the notches from one to five. At t equals five, we also enter the face value of 10,000 Rand because this is returned to the investor on this date. All coupons and the face value are positive numbers. For the calculator inputs, the number of periods to maturity is entered as N, the negative of the market value today as the present value or PV, the annual coupon amount as PMT or payment, and the face value as the future value or FV. Solving for the discount rate, the calculator returns 7.5%. Because this bond is annual pay, there is no annualization adjustment and the company's cost of debt is 7.5%. In the next and final example for this video, let's take a look at a slightly more complex situation. This time, the bond has a 100,000 Rand face value, a coupon rate of 6.2%, and a maturity of four years. The market value is 97,860 Rand and the coupons are paid semi-annually. In setting up the timeline, we pay careful attention to the fact that this bond's coupons are paid out every six months. Therefore, we must count six month periods and with four years until maturity, we have four times two equals eight notches for our timeline. We enter the market value at T0 as negative 97,860. Then the coupons, each one equal to 6.2% times 100,000 Rand divided by two and the maturity value of 100,000 Rand. We enter these inputs into the calculator's TVM functionality and solve for the discount rate, obtaining 3.1%. This is not the final answer, however, because the calculated rate of 3.1% is a per six month rate. The cost of debt must be an annual rate, and so we double the 3.41% to determine a final answer for the cost of debt of 6.82%. Thank you.